on our left is before, right is after. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to use perspective effects in Nick Collection 4, which is a very important software to fix perspective of any architecture. Usually, works only also for the portrait, but more effective for any kind of architectural photography. So I have three examples here. Now important note, it only reads TIFF or JPEG. It does not read RAW. So that's very important information. So I have three JPEG on. Ideally, you want to edit your photo first. Do whatever you need to do in any kind of software, Lightroom, Photoshop, uh, Capture One, whatever. And perspective fixing should be your very last step. So assume that this photo is the final result. Now I have to fix my perspective of these images. So we're going to do that step by step first. So I'm going to start with the far right. So let's open that. Now you can use all the automatic because of course you paid a very expensive plugin. Why not use the automatic one? Because that's what they're supposed to do when you pay a lot of money for it, right? Uh, especially when it comes to DxO, they are the leading um, software business in the industry. So I'm going to click automatic for the distortion and it is going to give me a box saying that perspective effects needs to open the original image file, which is the raw. Why do I need that? Essentially, it's going to read the exif file of the original raw, read the camera body and the lens combination and try to use its database to fix the distortion. So I'm going to do that now. And that's the raw. So let's see what it does. There you go. You just saw that it fixed the photo already. I'm going to do a side by side comparison. There you go. I don't know if you, it's not a significant change, but it is nonetheless a very good change. Anyway. Now you can see the lens, um, you know, information, camera information, the Canon EOS 1200D, I believe, uh, Canon EFS 18-55, you know, pretty awesome. It have all the information. Now volume deformation, it's important for the portrait. We're not going to go there because this is the architectural photo. So I'm going to click automatic perspective. So let's see what it does. I'm going to click auto. And beam again. I'm going to show you before and after. There you go. So on our left is before, right is after. Pretty amazing, isn't it? I'm going to go back to the full screen. Now, of course, if you're not very satisfied, right? Let's say you're not very satisfied. So you can actually fix the intensity. You can reduce it, saying that ah, I don't like it. Or you know, you can fine tune it. Of course, you can also do that with the auto correction so what you can do you can just fix the vertical only or you can just do horizontal only or you can do both of course obviously that's what i would do and then again you can do a micro fine tuning like up down slider so i'm going to do that so you can go backward you can go forward it's important only, you know, there's a lot of cropping. So you want some information there. So you can actually reduce the effect of it, obviously. Um, same with the left and right. You can go more left or more right. Also HNB ratio. I'm going to click reset. You get the idea. So you can always use automatic and then fine tune it with the slider. Right. Very important and very easy. Then you can automatically correct your horizon. So I'm going to click auto. I think the photo was already been fixed with the perspective. So the horizon was automatically fixed. If not, again, you have all the buttons. You can use it to fix your horizon. And interestingly enough, you can also see how much information you have lost here. You see that the cropping, that's what the software did. That's a very important thing to look at because, you know, it kind of stretch everything in a different direction to make sure that everything is straight. Uh, downside of that, now you lose a lot of information. 
unfortunately that's the game uh, nothing you can do about it i afraid now crop same again uh, if you didn't do the cropping automatically it will do the cropping you just click auto and it, will, it should fix it straight away now you can of course do one-on-one -on -one. you can do any kind of uh, cropping very easy to use i'm going to click reset because you know i don't i'm not looking forward to crop this photograph it's already been cropped enough and finally of course you have the miniature effect which is you know i'm going to show you the example right now you can click circular turn it on circular soft and bring it wherever you want and it will give you a miniature effect I'm going to just click apply and then see what it gives me. Pretty cool, right? I like it. Now, this is pretty much it. So, I'm going to show you before and after. Easy, easy, easy. Now, we are going to go to the next photo. I'm not going to, I'm going to click no, don't save and click on this one. Again, click automatic for the distortion. Select the photo. It's done already. Then, Click auto for the perspective control. And it says it cannot fix it. You know, it can happen time to time. If you can't do that, you obviously can click eight points and put your point wherever you prefer. Especially is very important. This is the part that you have to do things a little bit manually. But don't worry. Um, it's actually pretty easy. I found it very easy to under understand and very easy to use. So I'm going to do that here as much as I can and bring it over here. You see, it takes some time. Huh? I mean, I prefer the automatic one, but sometimes it doesn't work if they don't, if they don't have the information. Uh, right, there you go. Should be fine. Now I'm going to click apply and see what it gives me. Now you can see that it made it straight. We get it. But it also kind of uh, cropped a little too much. So now this is where the, this slider comes in play. I'm going to click up and down and see how much information it gives me back. So there you go. I'm going to stop right there. And then you get the idea. It fixed it automatically. And you can bring things back. Super easy. I'm going to click automatic for the horizon. And automatic actually didn't do a good job again. So I'm going to turn it off. Crop, I don't need it. Miniature effect, I don't need it. But you get the idea. In case of emergency, if the automatic doesn't work, you have the solution. So I'm going to go back. Don't save. And select the first photo. Try it again. Open. You see, the file does not have any valid exit data. So that means that it cannot do any kind of distortion control. See, again, can happen. But that's fine. I'm going to fix the perspective of this photo so let's see what it gives me automatic so it fixed it and it did a very good job i'm going to show you before and after so that's before and after and horizon control i'm going to go back to the big screen let's see what it gives me the automatic not much looks like it's straight enough that's what the software is telling me and then you have the crop the usual crop which is pretty easy to understand. Listen, this software is actually super easy to understand. You know, nothing is different. Everything is straightforward. And I personally like this software a lot. Now, I hope you find this tutorial useful. If so, please do like and subscribe. And I see you in future videos. Bye-bye.